Hey everyone, as Ken said, I'm Jason. I work for Datadog. Uh, so I got a lot of DevOps days, and last year I was at DevOps Days Ohio with Nathan Harvey from Chef, and he mentioned that we should talk about coffee over DevOps. And I thought, that's a great idea, right? Because everybody loves coffee. It's delicious, it has loads of caffeine. Uh, in fact, the commonly held origin of coffee is that it was discovered by a goat herder who noticed that his goats were energized by eating coffee. Uh, and the U.S. has a long history with coffee. We transitioned from being tea drinkers to primarily being coffee drinkers following the rise of British tea taxes and the Boston Tea Party. Uh, and actually, prior to the rationing in World War II, the average American drank over 40 gallons of coffee every year. Now, the, the first wave of coffee uh, wasn't much different from military rations. It was cans of pre-ground commodity coffee. Uh, and despite what Folgers would have you believe, is more about drinking something hot than something that actually tasted good. But in 1971, Starbucks came around, uh, and they went on to found what would become the second wave of coffee. You see, Starbucks took an Italian approach to coffee. Uh, they roast their coffee in a dark Italian style. They brew Italian-style drinks like cappuccinos. They even use Italian words like venti and grande to confuse you. <laughs> they also take uh, an Italian approach to coffee culture. You see, Starbucks aimed to become your third place. Your life would be home and work and Starbucks. You see, your third place is where you find community. Uh, and so this value on community that Starbucks had meant that they had a value on people. And this value on people is why they, they started to offer more benefits to their employees. And it led to the rise of things like fair trade and direct trade. Um, and the, the great thing about this is that when you start to value people, you realize that coffee farmers are people too. And so if you value coffee farmers as people, you realize that they're trying to do the best work that they can. They're trying to grow the best coffee that they can. So when you value coffee farmers as people, you have empathy for the things they care about, and you start to care about coffee beans. This care for coffee beans led to what's now been called the third wave of coffee. You see, the third wave of coffee is where we roast beans and we brew coffee in ways that ex accentuate the native characteristics of the coffee bean. And it didn't take too long for customers to actually care about beans, too, and become obsessed. I mean, how many of you have preferences for coffee from certain regions of the world, or how many of you have started brewing your coffee in different ways uh, to, to suit your preferences? So let's jump over and talk about DevOps history for a bit. The first wave of DevOps really was the tradition of dev and ops, of silos and throwing things over the walls, much in the same way of coffee farmers who grew beans and sold them to commodity traders who sold them to people who put them in tin cans. Now the second wave of DevOps is really where I think we're at right now. The second wave of DevOps is when we realize that developers and operations engineers, that we're all humans, we're all people, we're on the same teams, we're working towards the same goals. Uh, and much like Starbucks tried to build community, uh, the second wave of DevOps is largely about community. It's why we're all here at DevOps Days. It's why we have DevOps meetups and we have Slack channels where we can get together and share information and learn from each other. But I argue that we really need a third wave of DevOps. And the third wave of DevOps is when we stop focusing on how we treat each other, and that just becomes the normal thing that we do. We just act humanely as the way that we do it, and we can actually start to focus, focus on building better apps and better services and better digital experiences. I think one way that we do this is we got to stop focusing on DevOps as some sort of self-serve automation or self-serve ops for devs. When we do that, when we overly focus on automation, we essentially turn ops into devs. And we really want dev ops and not dev dev. So the way that we can do this is actually much similar to how coffee roasters are visiting coffee farmers to understand the nuances of coffee beans. We need to get ops engineers up front involved in dev projects so that they can understand the business motivations and the business values. And by understanding those business values, then we can understand what makes apps great, and how to build the best infrastructure and the best services to support those. And ultimately, just like coffee, I think this will affect our end customers. You know, they may never understand the technical underpinnings of, of what we build, much in the same way that I'll never understand the microclimates and geographies of Indonesia. But I do understand that I prefer Indonesian coffee more than I do Kenyan coffee. And similarly, our customers will start to have these affinities and these preferences for things that we build 
when we're focusing on building better apps and already implementing the cultural parts of DevOps. So in short, let's implement third wave DevOps and go from good to amazing. Thanks. Thanks.